This is second grade, module seven, lesson nine homework. Solve word problems involving different combinations of coins with the same total value. Draw coins to show another way to make the total value. Number one has 25 cents using one dime and three nickels. Another way I can make 25 cents is by using one quarter. Forty cents, four dimes were used. I can use three dimes and two nickels. to represent 40 cents, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So three dimes and two nickels equals 40 cents. Number three, 60 cents, two quarters and one dime was used. I can use one quarter three dimes and one nickel. 25, 35, 45, 55, 60 Number four, three quarters and one nickel was used to represent 80 cents. I can also use three quarters to find another way. But this time I'm going to use five pennies to represent my five cents. So three quarters is 75 cents plus five pennies is 80 cents. Number five, Samantha has 67 cents in her pocket. Write two coin combinations she could have that would equal the same amount. So before I write two other combinations, I want to know how much money Jeremy has. He has two quarters, which is 50 cents, plus three nickels, which is 15 cents, plus four pennies. So he has 50, 65, plus four more is 69 cents. So I need to find two other combinations of 69 cents. I can use two quarters one dime one nickel and four pennies two quarters one dime one nickel and four pennies will give me 67 cents. I could also use two quarters, two nickels, and nine pennies. And this also equals 69 cents. Remember, we can't use two quarters, three nickels, and four pennies. We had to find two other coin combinations. Let's look at number seven. Chelsea has 10 dimes. Write two other coin combinations she could have that would equal the same amount. 
Well, 10 dimes will equal $1. So I could use 4 quarters. And 4 quarters equals $1. Or I could use two quarters, which will give me 50 cents, and five dimes, which will give me another 50 cents.